Good evening, dear friends. Greg Merriweather here with Elizabeth Bow. All eyes are on the state Supreme Court today to see how it would go down when they rule in favor of St. George becoming its own city. The long legal battle ended up before the Supreme Court in New Orleans, something many believed was just inevitable. Our Chris Rosado was in the courtroom for us today. He has those details, Chris. Voters from St. George piled their way into the state Supreme Courthouse this morning to listen in on the oral arguments presented to the seven Supreme Court justices. You know who's not here? Opposition to the city of St. George from anyone who actually lives in the city of St. George because there's not opposition. Attorney Andrew Merle representing St. George told justices that voters were presented with a list of public services the city would provide if they were to break away from Baton Rouge. Residents then got enough signatures for a petition to get the proposal on the 2019 ballot. <laughs> where 54% voted in favor of the idea. But attorneys with Baton Rouge claim no budget was proposed and that if the plan were to go through, St. George would break the bank within its first year. I don't think it's a tough decision. When you look at this plan, like I said in the argument, it's kind of like the back of a rental car agreement. It's not really even a plan. Well, attorneys with the city of Baton Rouge argued before the justices today that voters in St. George were duped at the ballot box under the impression they were getting a substantial, detailed plan for St. George's incorporation when they weren't. But the folks with St. George today say they were insulted. You're telling me our citizens weren't informed? They were informed when they signed the petition. They were informed in the campaign process, and they were informed when they went to the ballot and cast their votes. So how do you tell me now that they didn't know what they were voting for? There also has yet to be one person who lives in St. George to testify in any courtroom they felt tricked. They want to call this an election contest when the statute says it's not an election contest. They don't want to talk about the facts, and that's what their problem is. You know, whether you support St. George or you're against St. George, you should be absolutely terrified that a government official thinks they have the power to overturn a lawful election. That is terrifying. You know who does that? Venezuela, Cuba, countries like that. In New Orleans, Chris Rosado, WAFB, 9 News. Both sides tell us that they feel confident that the justices will rule in their favor. We'll likely have an official answer within the next couple of months. All right, take a look outside.